everyone, Vicar Linda here. It's lovely to hear and to see you all again. Now this morning I thought I would find a little stall to put our candle on so you can see it lit all the way through our assembly. So shall we light it and say our prayer? So let us pray. Lord God, as we light this candle, joining our prayers to those that have gone before, we ask your blessing on all of us and all whom we love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now this morning, I thought we would talk about God as Trinity. Now at the beginning of the word Trinity, we have try or tree. Can anyone tell me what it means? You're welcome to stop and start the video again. That's right, tree means three. So Trinity means a group of three persons or things. Therefore, we could say that God is three persons in one God. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now today I thought we could have our reading right at the very beginning of our service. If you would like to, you can stop and start this video. A reading from Matthew 28. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, Trinity Sunday occurs eight weeks after Easter Sunday and is the day when the Christian church reflects on the nature of God. The church refers to God as Trinity, that is, three persons within one God. We call them the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now this is really heavy thinking. So I've gone and thought of a way that we might be able to work out how and why Trinity means three persons within one God. Okay, so who's watched the Thunderbirds? Uh -huh. Right, well, my brother and I used to watch the Thunderbirds in mid 60s and I've got can you see them if I go like this can you see Thunderbirds now these are the original ones just like my brother and I used to see and I've got another picture here look can you see them yeah brilliant now these are the new Thunderbirds you might recognize them there we go all right and here they are, all standing, waiting to go on an assignment. Sorry, Dan, I've just given your age away, haven't I? <laughs> OK, so Thunderbirds are about a family who live on a remote island in the Pacific called Tracy Island. And if you're as old as me and my brother, <laughs> You might have seen Blue Peter and they went and made an island out of toilet rolls and yogurt pots. Now Jeff Tracy is the father and he's got five sons, Scott, Virgil, Alan, Gordon and John. I liked Alan who was the youngest and was the first to use the famous catchphrase F-A-B. 
Now in the 60s, the buzzword was fabulous. So this is where F-A-B has come from. But in the Thunderbirds, it means to say Roger or 10-4 over and out. All right. Now also living on the island are a servant, Kai Renault and his daughter, Tintin. The only role of Jeff's mother, Grandma Tracy, seems to have been to make coconut crumble. And of course, we mustn't forget Brains, who's a genius designer and builder of planes, spaceships and rescue vehicles of every shape and size. I also liked Brains and wanted to be just like him when I grew up. I guess you could say that I didn't turn out quite like him at all. Now, the other people that we meet are the very English Lady Penelope and her ex-butler Parker. Now, she was an international socialite and loved to drive around in her pink Rolls Royce. Now, this organisation picks up distress calls from around the world via its own satellite and these signals are radio down to HQ and then the Thunderbirds are launched. The rescue always has moments of drama and high tension. And I bet you're thinking, what on earth has this got to do with God? Well, let's look at how international rescue works. Jeff, the father, stays at HQ the sons go out to rescue people and they communicate by radio. You might like to think of God as the father in heaven. God sees that people need help. So he sends his son, Jesus, who lives with people and shows them how to be like God. His relationship to God, the father, becomes clear through his death and resurrection which we thought about over Easter. Christians believe that Jesus saves people from the wrongs that they do, bringing them back to a good relationship with God. And the Holy Spirit, we could say, is like the radio. In Thunderbirds, the radio carries messages from Jeff to Scott, Virgil, Alan and Co. Christians believe that it's the Holy Spirit who lives within them, who helps them to be close to God day after day. Without the radio, International Rescue couldn't communicate. And without the Holy Spirit, Christians cannot pray. That's their way of communicating with God. OK, enough of that let's have some actions shall we and we're going to be using the reading that we had first of all so are we ready for this so when i say jesus we punch the air when i say doubted let's scratch our heads and pull a funny face that shows that we doubt what someone has said and when i say father Let's move our index finger and our middle finger on one hand over the other and tap them twice. Father. When I say son, let's move our finger across our face, just under our mouth, like that, and say son. Son. And when I say Holy Spirit, we do as what we did last time, and that's move our hand over the other one and go, Holy Spirit. Well done, well done. Now the words Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I've again got the actions from the British Sign Language website. <clears throat> so are we ready for our story? Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw Jesus, they worshipped him.
but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples on earth and all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, said Jesus, I am with you always to the end of the age. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. Now shall we have our prayer to finish? So let us pray. God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We don't understand how that works, but we believe that you are there for us, saving us and helping us day by day. Be close to each of us today and help us to work at our relationships with one another and with you. Amen. Okay. So let's blow our candle out. So if anybody has a birthday either today or a few days ago or a few days time, let's blow the candle out together, shall we? One, two, three. Happy birthday. Well done. And until next time, stay safe. Bye.